Hey you guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on a new type of hair color. I don't know how new it is, but because I've actually had this stuff for a while, I just haven't used it. Actually, I tried it out once. Um, but it's a temporary hair color. It's bright. It works on dark hair and light hair. It washes off quickly and it's fun. And it's really easy to apply. Okay? It doesn't involve you using any kind of chemicals. So. The color is called Hair Color Up. It's by Hair Flares. So this is what the package looks like. Hair Flares Color Up. When you see the model, seriously, that's how the color comes out in your hair. Uh, this is black. I actually got three colors. I got black, purple, and red. So I just wanted to try them out and see how they turn out on hair. There's the purple one. Okay, it's a dark purple. And they have several, several colors. Uh, here's the red one. And here's the black one. Okay. So the package comes with, comes in this plastic package and it comes with a card. Of course, it tells you what it is, color of timber hair color, yada yada. And on the back, it gives you instructions on how to use it. It's super easy to use okay and it also tells you how to remove it there's some important points on this card that i'm going to read to you guys because it's important to know before you actually try to use the product on your hair uh, it, of course still says wear a towel or a cape to protect your clothes and your skin from color transfer uh, don't use over carpet because like i said it's a powder and when it uh, the dust from the powder may get on your carpet and it's gonna absorb into the carpet fibers, right? They suggest wearing protective gloves to avoid staying on your hands or your manicure, which I'm not going to be using today just because I don't feel like it, but I recommend you wear gloves normally. I just, I personally don't care because whatever. I work with hair and color so much, it's like my hands are already busted. They recommend using a leave-in conditioner prior to using Color Rub because it primes the hair and seals the cuticle. The leave-in conditioner, if you use a leave-in conditioner on your hair before, it acts like a primer on your hair, just like you put a primer on your skin before you put on makeup. It primes your hair strands and it seals the cuticle, which allows for a more even color application. Essentially what you're gonna do is you rub the color on and once you rub the color on, they want you to lightly spritz or mist the hair with a hairspray to seal the color in. Uh, it's also recommended that you don't wear light color clothing because uh, color transfer may occur. So, of course, if you're wearing a white shirt, put this red powder in your hair, it's rubbing all over your shirt, you're probably going to get red spots all over your shirt. So, because of that, I'm taking this off because <laughs> I don't want it to get on my stuff. So, what well, I show you guys? I'm going to show you guys on this hair, my kinky curly hair, so you can see how it works on curly hair. So the colors that I'm going to use now are red and a little purple. The black, black is really good if you want to go, if you have a lighter color, like let's say your hair is a color number four, which is like a dark or a medium dark brown, and you want to go dark for a period of time, or you want to do like a reverse ombre, or you want to get a temporary ombre effect on your hair. Or let's say you have gray hairs and you want to temporarily cover them up until you can dye it, or you don't want to dye your hair. The black comes in handy. If you guys have any gray hairs, um, that would work great to cover your gray hairs as a temporary fix or if you want to just reapply it as often as you like. So I'm going to show you how I put it on. Open it up and I'm going to take a little piece here. Um, and this hair is curly. So what I want to do to make sure it's even, and yes, there's leave-in on this hair already. I'm going to pull the hair straight. What you do, you stick the hair into the on the pan like this, and you rub your hair into the color like that, okay? And like literally rub it back and forth. So you can already see the color transfer. I, I prefer to do it with my thumb, and... You can go up and down or side to side. You can see them going up and down. I 
you would do this with your gloves on. Of course, like I said, I'm not wearing gloves. Don't copy me. Wear gloves. Can y'all see how they came out, the color? It's bright. Let me move this piece back into the mix. Yeah, y'all can see how bright that little piece of red is. Bright, and that's on dark hair. So imagine what it's gonna look like on bright hair. So I'm gonna do a purple strip also. Here's the purple. Let's see how the purple is gonna look. And you can also do more than one color on one section. So, and I'm actually gonna do that on this next section. Let's see if that comes out okay. Let's do this piece. So let's see how this, let's do purple. You see I'm holding the hair right here. And I'm rubbing up and down. And like I said, you can go side to side or up and down. I prefer up and down. So I do one side of the strands. And the ends, you know, I kind of rub side to side. And rubbing side to side as I go down too. And then I flip the strands over and do the same thing on the other side. Okay. You see on this one, I went all the way down to the end. Thank you. You can see the purple. And then the purple is, it's pretty vibrant to be on dark hair. Okay. You can do two colors on one. Take a piece. And let's say I want to do purple at the top and red on the bottom. I'm going to do my purple all the way down to the point where I want to start my red. So I'm going to go down, down, flip the hair over, make sure I get the other side. And the lighter the hair, the more vibrant the color is going to be when you go with the darker colors. I'm going to do the bottom of the hair with the red. So I start where the purple ended and even go a little bit higher than where the purple ended. Into the purple a little to help with the gradual fade. Flip it over, make sure I get the other side. And you can actually even see the dust coming off, which is why you don't want to do it over carpet or when you're wearing light clothing. Okay, so you see, you can even do, you can do several colors on one piece, if you want to. Alright, and you can do it throughout your head, you can just do a few little pieces like I just did.